Hello and welcome back to our Vlandian night. And, uh, well, we have a bit of a situation on our hands here. Basically, we have a war declaration possibility on Batania. And I'm not a big fan of this at all. Um, <laughs> I actually agree with Death Art at this particular point. I do not think that we should be declaring war at this juncture. I think this is very bad. We're going to do it just purely for the fact that I cannot possibly say no because of the peerage policy. And uh, I've, I've taken a look at the peerage policy as well, by the way, and I think it is uh, very difficult. Yes, as you can see, it is extremely difficult for me to abolish this. 11% are supporting it. Um, but I might be able to overrule them. I'm not entirely sure. I haven't tried. So maybe a little bit later on, maybe we'll try in this episode if we can um, try to uh, get it done, get it out of there, you know, um, try to remove it. So here we go. This is what I'm doing. I'm trying to take this Sturgeon town. I've called for a number of vassals, as you can see in the bottom right, and uh, hopefully they're going to be arriving relatively soon because I'm a bit worried about this, to be honest. Oh, the new owner of Chinopsis Castle was apparently me. Uh, so that's that's pretty good, isn't it? That is actually pretty good. Where is Chinopsis Castle anyway? I don't even know, to be honest. Okay, uh, wait a minute. <laughs> uh, there we go. Okay, let me go back here. Yeah, there seems to be, there was a bit of a, an issue there because I can't move the camera when I'm in a siege, um, which I think needs to be changed. I think it's just a small quality of life improvement that would be quite good. Uh, my, set my settlement is under siege. That's not mine, actually. That is not mine. This is, this is technically not mine. Um, I'm going to be giving it to Misui, I believe. Or maybe to Dysporion? I'll give it to Dysporion, actually, because Misui does have a, uh, have a, a castle already, so it, it doesn't really make any difference to her, I think. So we can uh, more easily uh, please Dysporion here, and hopefully he's not going to be uh, super annoying about it. I, I'm kind of weirded out that they took something so far away, because it feels to me like that was really far away. Maybe that's just me, but we'll see what happens. Anyway, um, I did enact a couple of extra policies as well in my off-screen time, and those policies are all to do with gaining influence and uh, things that my vassals are generally in favor of, and hopefully that's going to help us out. Yeah, so now this is exactly the reason why also, by the way, I did not want to... Um, declare war on the Batanians because I kind of thought, hey, Varchek's kind of weakened right now and uh, it's highly likely that they'll, they'll decide to attack it because new war declarations usually result in these kinds of situations happening and uh, I'm currently besieging Revel, which is obviously very far away from Varchek at the moment especially considering I have all of the siege equipment already constructed and I don't really want to stop at this point, to potentially run after an army that has over a thousand units in it. I don't know how many units are actually besieging Varcheg at the moment, and personally, I don't really want to find out. So if they do decide to continue attacking it, and they do actually end up taking Varcheg, then that is just how it's going to have to be, and I will have to go and take it back. And hopefully I'll be able to do that. Uh, without too many difficulties. Now we are sustaining quite a little, uh, quite a bit of damage actually against the defense here, which is to be expected, of course, because these are ballistas. I've said multiple times that I think ballistas are probably the best siege defensive weapon because they just have such a high damage per second. They are able to continue firing at a high accuracy rate as well, and that really makes a huge difference. So I'm hopeful that my <laughs> The speed of my corruption, uh, corruption? No, the speed of my construction, should I say, is hopefully going to be good enough to be able to get these things down. Now, let's just take a look. I did level up. Oh, okay, armor is 10% more effective. I, why, 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 why? Is, is, that, is that literally armor, as in the armor that I'm wearing? Because if it's the armor that I'm wearing, I don't really understand why that is in the engineering, um, the engineering, skill tree, I feel like this should be in smithing or 
something else. Just not 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 engineering. I I would like this. This would be fantastic. Siege engines, twenty percent more hit points. That sounds really good. Also, bombardment damage against other siege engines increased by twenty percent. These are all really good. Look at this. Increased damage to walls during sieges. All of these are fantastic, and I'd love to get all of them. However, uh, they want me to have ten percent additional armor. I'm happy with that, actually. I'm I'm okay with that, but I, I I find it a bit weird that it's in the engineering skill tree. But you know, whatever the case, I I don't really mind. Any kind of bonus is going to help us out quite a bit. We're actually almost getting their walls down, as you can see. The walls are actually level three. It seems like level three walls are no longer 100,000 HP. It seems like the uh, developers uh, changed the amount of HP that uh, the maximum level of wall actually has because obviously beforehand it would have uh, 100,000 for level 3 and that would be very long you know you would have a long time to try and burn through all of that and um, well thankfully they changed it so it makes it a little bit easier because I remember way back in some of the first earlier versions of Bannerlord those walls were really hard to get down but thankfully it's not like that anymore and hopefully my siege engines will be able to finish up the last remaining 8,000. We do have people creating armies here. I actually wonder whether Varcheg has been taken, to be honest. It doesn't seem like it has. Am I uh, am I not seeing it? I'm, I'm not entirely sure. Has it been taken? I can't see it at the moment. No, no, it has been taken a long time ago by the looks of things as well, which is very annoying. But it's okay because I didn't really put anything in there. I just put 10k money which is really not a big deal either. I can get that back pretty easily. I've been doing quite a bit of smithing as well. And um, I do have uh, a lot of resources. I haven't actually created any swords yet. Because I thought you might like to see that just to see what I'm doing. And uh, in case you want to um, have a bit of a reference point as to what you'd like to construct as well. Because you never know, maybe you're in the same boat as me and you're having a huge problem with with daily wages. I was going to say weekly wages, but it's not like that anymore. It's daily wages. And uh, yeah, maybe uh, maybe you want a little bit of a guidance point. Anyway, I'm going to be a bit careful here. <laughs> yes, going to be a bit careful here, he says, as he charges straight in with his horse. Sounds like a good plan. What is this, though? Can you literally look, look at this? This is actually crazy. You can go in here. This is cool. Hello. Oh, you're fighting with a spear, sir. That is not going to work in close quarters combat. Oh, now he's got now his axe. Of course he has. Yes, of course he has. Okay. Oh, this is nice. Oh, I like this. You're getting a nice little duel going on here. These guys are moving really slowly as well. What, what, what's actually going on with that? You'd think they'd want to rush really, really quickly to the uh, front lines. But it seems like that's not the case. So far, my people are doing pretty nicely. I'm doing no damage. Have you noticed that? My damage is extremely pitiful at the moment. It is, uh, I'm doing like 20 damage to these guys. Maybe I can do a little bit more to this one. Oh, this guy's got a big axe. Okay, we probably want to be a bit careful of him. We want to be a bit careful of all these guys, actually. Uh, what I really like about Bannerlord, actually, is the addition of the shield bar. I don't know whether you've noticed that, but there's a shield HP bar. And it more accurately tells you how much percentage, or shall we say, how much value you have. Oh, got murdered headshot well technically not a headshot but a head swing against me right there 73 cutting damage that was pretty impressive got to say that very very nice on him right there he did a good job of eliminating us but hopefully we're going to be able to speed this up real quick and uh, oh wait wait a minute there seems to be another another little area that we could have gone into right here and it seems like yeah we uh maybe this would have uh that probably would have made more sense actually as you can see this seems to be a little bit easier for people to infiltrate. I probably should have come in from this direction instead of the other one. But I saw the, the other opening and I thought, oh, this seems pretty sneaky, you know. You're going to be able to go through a little tunnel and then, uh, you know, pop out in the castle somewhere. Look at this, you know. Seems pretty cool to be able to go through here, no? I think that kind of thing seems pretty, pretty fun and exciting. But, well, obviously that didn't really work out too well for me but otherwise let's take a look at some of our stuff here okay imperial legionaries i think we're going to get a whole bunch more of those they seem pretty fun we gained 44 influence and 73 renown now that is not the really greatest amount of influence that we could have gained um but 
I mean, I've, I think I've spent more influence just, you know, gathering the army together, to be honest. So, bit of an annoyance right there. But I'm actually going to be accepting this fief because, of course, we have, um, well, we've lost Varchek, so it makes sense for me to take this. And uh, what we're going to do is I'm just going to disband the army. They can go off and do whatever they want to do because, obviously, we wanted to take this. And, of course, I would assume that Varchek doesn't actually have that much in the way of defenses. So I should be able to take that back relatively easily. Now, what I'm going to do here is we're just going to sell a little bit of our goods. Now, I'm not going to sell my swords or anything like that. We're just going to sell these things. The armor is going to sell for a massive amount, so I've got to be a bit careful about how much I actually sell. I have a huge amount of it, as you can no doubt tell. And hopefully we're going to be able to sell a lot of it. There we go. Do bear in mind, I don't want to bankrupt the town um, if I can help it. I would like to... Uh, is there any uh, any upgrades that I can get for people? Yes, there we go. Some people can get some upgrades. And that means that I can sell all of this. Oh. Right. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? No, that is not going to work. Okay, so what about this? <sighs> yeah, that... That always happens to me, you know. That always happens. Okay, you know what? It's just going to do this then instead. Just going to sort from the most expensive. I just wanted to get rid of the most weight, basically. So that was the reason why I was doing it from the other way around. But there you go. 26,000 for us. Pretty decent. And we're also going to go to uh, Mr. Thor. Oh, with Thor got yeah, there he is. Yeah, every single time, by the way, I go into my party screen, my companions get sorted differently so every time I go into the smithy Thorgood could be at the top or he could be at the bottom so we've got to be a bit careful about that kind of stuff anyway um, let's go try and get some more steel here I've only got a very limited amount of charcoal so I should be a little bit careful about that and otherwise we want to go for difficulty and damage so the most okay so this this seems pretty good this is tier 4 and this is increasing our damage quite a bit. Let's go for tier 5. And let's go for this one. Actually, tier 4 we're going for. And uh, the handle needs to be something good. Like, something actually good. Like, high difficulty, but also high damage. And then we also want to go for a pommel that is high difficulty as well. Something that also increases our damage. This one, for example. this That, that increases our damage by quite a bit. Now, we're going to be able to make quite a few of these. Uh, not too many, but enough, I think, that will hopefully get us a good amount of cash. There we go. Nice. Okay. And uh, we're going to need to do more of that as time goes on. I did go at, into a marketplace and purchase a huge amount of charcoal. and um, Actually, not charcoal. Uh, hard hardwood that I could turn into charcoal. And that really made a big difference in how much I was able to convert into the resources that we need. Anyway, as you can see, these are all 40,000. This one's 73,000, actually. I'm not entirely sure why this is 73,000 in comparison to this one being 40,000, but it's decent enough. That's all I really want it to be. You know, I, d I don't need it to be anything special. I just need it to do its thing and give me a good amount um, of money from there. So who knows what's going to happen now. I'm hopeful that Varcheg might get taken back. As you can see, the Batanians... I don't know why we wanted to declare war against them, to be honest. I feel like that was a huge error. And I'm going to try, now that I have 424 influence, I'm going to try and see if I can do something about it. So uh, I'm going to go here. We're going to just sell a little bit of our shields and, and things like that. Obviously, I am bankrupting the town right now, which is really not a good idea. But I'm going to do it just purely for the fact that I don't have that much money myself. And I'd like to upgrade some people. So... Let's do that. Uh, let's see. Anyone else need actual level ups? No, no, no. Okay. Yeah, we're actually getting some pretty high tier units as well. So it's not just it's not just a huge amount of them. We're actually getting tier 4, tier 5 units for the most part. And the ones that are lower tier, they level up pretty quickly. So I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy about that. My character is also doing quite well. I think we have, uh, yeah, some more traits here. As you can see, bait is... In my opinion, pretty cool if you can get some people nearby to you to help you. But most of the time, that doesn't that doesn't happen. Immortal Charm is going to be really, really good as well eventually. Because every five skills after 250 gives you one influence point per day. And that means that I'm going to be gaining... It actually doesn't show me right now. 
It actually doesn't show me, but hopefully after a little bit of time, let's have a look. Yeah, it's going to give me plus five. So that's not too bad. I, I would say that it could be better, but it's going to increase with time, or at least I hope so. All right. So there we go. We're just going to recruit some more people. I'm basically ready to continue onward, but what I need to do is I need to hopefully have Revel um, get its marketplace back up and running. So I'm hopeful that a lot of caravans will be stopping by and hopefully we will get a reset of marketplace funds. As you can see, there's 8,000 there. That's not enough for what we need, to be honest. I'm going to just sell a little bit more here. Just a little bit. And now we're going to move back and we're going to see what happens at Varchek because there's no doubt going to be um, quite a few defenders, but probably not that much. It seems like there's a number of other things being besieged right here. Jamaris was also besieged by the Azurai. I, I, I've got to say that I feel like this particular game campaign save that we have going on right here, this is probably the most balanced that I have ever seen Bannerlord. And I'm not entirely sure if it's due to a mod or whether it's just due to what the developers have done in their efforts to upgrade the version over time. And it might very well be that, or it could be a mod that I have installed. I don't know. I'm not entirely sure which one. Uh, Garantor Castle has just been taken. Okay, that's good to know. Where is that, though? Ah, it's over here. Okay, so that's the castle that was taken just before, and that, that was taken back relatively simply. Okay, so Garantor Castle is down here? Why? Why would you do that? I have I have no idea. Why would you take that? That doesn't make any sense. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Okay. Yeah, well, if they want to do that, then that's absolutely fine with me. Uh, I'm going to go into Varchek here and just take this real quick. It shouldn't be too bad for us. Oh, wow. Yeah, huge amounts of Landians being taken prisoner. Oh, yeah. That's what I wanted to do. I actually forgot about that. I'm going to try and propose that this be eliminated. And I'm actually... Oh, oh, see? Now, this is exactly what I'm talking about. You're going... I have to spend 1300 to be able to disavow this particular policy. And it is just not going to work. I can't do anything. My hands are tied. My hands are tied. And I need a huge amount of influence to be able to uh, overturn it. And I don't know how I'm supposed to do that. It is going to be insanely difficult. I'm actually going to have to leave the siege, uh, to be honest, because... I need to go to a nearby town and actually sell some stuff because otherwise I'm going to have some issues. Anyway, we're just going to allow uh, someone else to take something here. I'm going to give Despori on this because for some reason he lost the other castle. Not entirely sure why, but you know, you know him. <laughs> He's a little bit weird sometimes, I guess. Otherwise, we do have a party here and a little bit of level ups that we can do there we go another nine troops and we recruited five prisoners any of these guys that we can get to uh, join our uh, join our army that's all good you know that's pretty cool i just hope that um my uh, new my new town will not be uh, besieged too quickly uh, by a large army because i'm actually out of position right now if i if I do have that happen, then we are going to have some problems. So hopefully it's not going to happen anytime soon. We need to be very careful about these two quests as well because we cannot let them expire. We have to do them before they expire. And um, whoever we give the banner to is going to have some issues as well because we need to make sure that they don't get eliminated immediately. So we need to be in a position to be able to defend uh, defend that faction against overwhelming attacks and, and so on. So yeah, I'm going to take some hardwood from here because uh, that is going to be very important for us for smithing and so on. And I'm thinking we might actually try to take Omor at this point because we're pretty close, you know. We're pretty close to Omor, so it makes sense uh, for us to uh, see see what's going on there because uh, it is a Batanian fief. If they have... Oh, wow. They have a huge amount. They must have taken it a long time ago, actually. All right. Well, I have 105,000. I should be able to take Varcheg by myself. And hopefully that is exactly what will happen. Okay. Well, uh, apparently Batania is declaring a uh, peace proposal with us right here. 
And uh, I, I was actually just about to take Varchek back, but I'm going to accept this because I don't want to fight uh, Batania anymore. To be honest, I would much prefer to fight someone else. But as it stands, we're only at war against the Kuzate now, which obviously is, well, not exactly great. But at least we were able to take Revel, and that means that the Sturgeons will probably be eliminated relatively shortly. Anyway... Uh, that's probably going to be it for this episode. I actually intended to do another siege here and then end it, but obviously that's not going to happen right now, and uh, the, Cus the Cusade are very, very far away, so it will probably take me a little bit of time to get over there, but rest assured, I'll be doing a little bit more smithing. I'll sell some stuff and hopefully be able to maybe get a decent amount of cash together so that we can go on an extended campaign against our enemies. Hopefully we'll be able to do that. Anyway... I thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.